And meanwhile, following the collapse of Nigerian's national grid that plunged numerous cities in darkness, Abuja inclusive reactions have trolled amongst residents. Now, the collapse that took place on Sunday was confirmed by the Abuja Electricity Distribution Company. Well, the disco noted that it is working with key stakeholders to restore electricity across Nigeria. Abuja residents are hoping that this will spur AEDC into action to improve FCT power supply. Here's the report. The national grid collapse that took place on Sunday is the first in the year 2024. However, it has been revealed that there is poor electricity supply in the city known to be the nation's capital. Speaking to some residents, they lamented over lack of good power supply in their areas. The level that Nigeria has reached so far, we still have issue of power collapse from the national grid. I think it is a serious setback to a country like Nigeria. When you look at a country like uh, Benin that is just close by here, they have never heard that they have taken light for one hour there. But in Nigeria here, whether power collapsed from the national grid or not, people do go through darkness. I stay at a port road. At times we stay a week without a single blinking of electricity, without any explanation. If you're fortunate to have Mr. and the electricity keep increasing, and yet we are not seeing the result of what we are paying for. That's why I started by saying that it is unfortunate. Despite the promise, the promises that the present uh, um, governments promised Nigerians when they were campaigning, I don't believe that things will get better, especially the area of power, because you can't do any successful business today with that power. Some said the inadequate power supply has great effect on their businesses. The electricity in Abuja presently now is nothing to write home about because most of the time, as I rightly said earlier that I'm a fashion designer, we need light and um, without light we can't do much. The light in Abuja, the capital territory these days is um, you can't rely on it. Sometimes when you think that the light is available before you know the light went, the light will be off and it will be on and on, months after months, day after day. Uh, I believe um, the power holding um, company can do something about it. I think it will be better. We need electricity to do a lot of things. You know, even like if you're a business person, you need electricity for your business and all that. And not all areas has that electricity. So we should all enjoy electricity in a different area. It's our right as a citizen to do that. Meanwhile, Others are calling on the government and stakeholders for intervention. The government don't care. All they care about is hiding money, buying this, buying that. Okay, in other countries, they care for their citizens. But Nigerians, they, they don't love themselves. That's what I discovered. The love is not there. How can, okay, what is the meaning of government? Government came to power to make life better for their citizens. But Nigeria is not so. I want to talk to government in particular. If the agency or the ministry of a particular organization or parasita is not doing well. The government should at least check or look into their activities so that it won't be as if the government is there watching what they are doing. There is no light and we are paying bill. With these rising challenges, Nigerians are hoping for a top level action to improve gas utilization for power generation across the country. From Abuja, Victoria Ayoni